any different this week when you know you've got a marquee opponent like TCU compared to the first two games? I definitely a little more energy, a little more juice, so I'll get ready for this game because it's a big time game. Obviously, you have the game in Michigan last year, so it's not like you haven't played in a hospital environment. Mm -hmm. But being the start, how different is it being the start? I wouldn't say it was too much different. Uh, definitely playing at 20 months last year was really high high intensity. All we could practice, so it was bringing into this week. When did you feel like Thanks, this was your team? You were running things. At, at what stage of the two uh, games? During this season? Uh, definitely uh, this is started in camp and uh, from the very first snap of the Oregon State game. So I uh, just taking it and going with it, running with it. I remember you talking after the Cotton Bowl in the locker room. We were asking you about that. You, did you kind of feel then it was your team? Like right after JT kind of his eligibility was over, did you kind of feel then it was your team? Uh, yeah, for sure. But uh, this, this reality, you actually get on the field for the very first time. So uh, just getting that first play from there on is like, you know, it's, it's my offense now. So taking leadership of that. You're playing so well. What can you do even better out there, Dwayne? Uh, just, just being a leader, being a uh, field general, you know, just having that uh, that uh, intensity about me, just uh, getting better with that every game. Dwayne, it seems as if the receivers have been getting more open this year. Mm -hmm. um, is that more, would you attest that to the scheme, or are they running better routes? It just seems that you guys are like throwing in rhythm and, and, and things are coming in place and just in terms of the space that they have. And I thought, do you, do you think that it's going to be tougher now this week when you're playing this defense? I just credit that to our defense. You know, we play really great defensive backs, really great defensive line every day in practice. Um, just uh, for me, it's just anticipation and accuracy. Uh, I feel like they run the same routes we ran last year. Just uh, they're doing a really great job getting open, catching the ball, and uh, we're you know, executing plays. What has surprised you, if anything, about the way the season's gone, about the adjustment to, to being a starter? I don't know if it surprised me. Yeah, we're only two games in. Uh, I think we're uh, getting ready to let the ball roll, and I'm excited about this week. And how important has it been for you guys to have the tempo that you have at that quick pace? Yeah, it helps a lot just uh, getting the ball set and uh, just making sure defense can get what they need to do on the field and just rolling, 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 rolling every play. And I feel like it's for our advantage. Can you describe your thought process as, as that's going on, mm -hmm. how fast that has to be? Just making quick decisions. Uh, it's a lot of trust from the coach for allowing us to do that. You know, there's a lot that goes into running tempo. And uh, we're doing a great job with that. We do periods in practice of that, and um, you know we're executing and getting better at it every day. Dwayne, so, hey, how much uh, how much RPO and play action stuff are you guys doing right now? And, and do you think that's going to become even more part of the offense moving forward? Uh, we do a lot of RPOs, a lot of uh, play action passes. Um, that's just part of our offense now. We do that a lot, and uh, we're going to keep building on it. How have you seen it work? Like, what's the effective effectiveness of that through the first two games? Uh, this is really has to do with offensive line and running backs, you know. You have to you know, respect the run, and it just opens up the passing game that much more. I mean, to go back to the spring, you know, how much did that battle with Joe, and we kept hearing how close it was, uh -huh. I mean, how much did that help you to prepare for this and, and that level of competition to have that going in March and April? Uh, definitely uh, competing with Joe, even competing when JT was here. You know, every day you want to go out there like you're the starter, be the guy. And uh, just having that opportunity since day one here at Ohio State, you know, everyone is here just as good as you, if not better. So just competing every day. What were your what emotions you like when he, when, you know, he decided to transfer? I mean, it mm -hmm. seemed like you guys got pretty close and everybody in the quarterback room. Yeah, but I mean, also you were going to be the starting quarterback, uh -huh. especially at that point. What, you, <laughs> what did you think then? I mean, it's hard. It's uh, only one guy plays a quarterback. You want to, you know, be really good teammates with everyone. But, uh, you know, got to compete at the same time. But, uh it's having Joe leave. You know, he's a really good friend of mine. I love him very much, and I'm excited for him at LSU. It was a hard, really hard decision for him, but I'm really happy for him. Dwayne, you've looked so comfortable so far. Would you have been this comfortable, this ready, if for some reason you had been starting last year, or was there something about the practice last year, the spring, this offseason that helped you get ready even more, or do you think you could have done pretty much this a year ago? I don't know. It's, it's pretty tough to think about. Um, just now preparing for the to be the starter is a little different than you know wanting to be the guy last year. Um, just uh, having that opportunity, I would say, Wisconsin last year was the first week I actually like prepared to be a starter. And uh, you know, just uh, having Coach Day, having Coach Meyer definitely would have helped me prepare last year if I was playing. But uh, just wasn't playing a lot last year. Dwayne, do you view this game playing national TV primetime as an opportunity for you and this team to make a statement? No, I definitely think that uh, we take that very seriously. And uh, every day in practice, Isaiah and Prince and Terry and Paris and Johnny emphasize how big this game is. And that was our first really you know, key game of the season. We have a lot of key games in order to go do what we want to do for the national championship this year, and this is only one of them. What about for you, for you as an individual? Like We know you, you played in the Michigan game, and that's obviously a big game, but this mm -hmm. is this is Saturday night, and 
people are intrigued by you now with how you played the first two games. If you played well against TCU on ABC, that's going to really sort of enhance your brand a little bit. Do you have any thoughts on, on what it might mean for you to have a good performance on Saturday night? Uh, I really haven't thought about that. The biggest game for me is just the biggest thing for me is just to win the game, and that's, that's, that's all I want to do. Well, you're you're like, kind you're of a forward receiver. thinker with everything when it comes to when you were a backup, you always thought about the starter. When you were a child, you always thought about coming here. Mm -hmm. When you start seeing your name popping up on, on Heisman talks and NFL discussions and stuff, do you ever think about stuff like that into the future? Because it seems like that's always kind of been the way your mind works. And, yeah. you know, I know you're only two games into this, but is that uh -huh. something that you ever think about or anything? Uh, for me, I've always been an ambitious person. So I've always put my dreams in on paper and I wrote them down and I achieve them. So, you know, the goal is to take one day at a time, one game at a time, you know, but eventually the dream wants to be in the NFL. But right now I'm at Ohio State. I'm going to, you know, what's, like, like, what's written down on that paper right now? Well, the, right now is the win TCU. So that's what we're going to go do. <laughs> this is Urban. A couple more questions for Dwayne. Uh, Dwayne. A lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, just could you kind of elaborate on just, now this is what you dreamed of. And yeah. Here you are and you've gotten off to a great start and now you've got this showcase game. I mean, just kind of going through your mind these days? Uh, honestly, it's just school and dogs and girlfriend, family. <laughs> I mean, I don't really let that, that uh, football stuff get to my head like that. Uh, just one practice at a time, one game at a time. That's, that's all I'm thinking about. Hey, Dwayne, Dwayne your wide thing? receivers all seem very unselfish, uh -huh. but there are so many of them. Mm -hmm. are, are some of them, like, taking you out to dinner or <laughs> putting the door open for you or anything uh, like that? I would say I got a good relationship with all my receivers, including you know old line running backs, tight ends, even some defensive people. Um, we have our fair share of you know arrangements like you know bowling, movies, dinner, whatever we might do. But I do all do different things to try to you know be on my good side. Dwayne, is there anything about TCU's defense that really jumps out to you? Something you really got to prepare for this week? Uh, definitely this exotic looks um, from first down, second down, third down, a lot of different stuff. Uh, I think they do a really good job. They're a really experienced team, and um, we're getting ready for them. Wayne, this is uh, this is this is Urban's second week back now at the helm, at least as far as practices are concerned. Has there been a different feel this week um, as opposed to you know before when he wasn't even allowed to to you know mm -hmm. man the practices, um, and especially because this is TCU week in such a big game. Well, I feel like Coach has done a great job trying to keep Coach Myers' intensity in practice. You know, it's different not having him around, but now that he's here, even when we were playing Rutgers, it was the same you know intensity as it is for playing TCU. So. It's great having him on the sideline. You know, that presence is definitely needed when you go play a big time game. And I'm glad he's back. Dwayne, I'm going to squeeze one last one in on one of your guys. Coach Day made a point after the Oregon State game when Isaiah Prince hustled and made the tackle mm -hmm. after the pick. You were hustling on that play too. But did, did the offense make note of that? Like when a guy, when a big guy like that is going uh -huh. hard to try to make a play? Yeah, I mean, Zay's really athletic. And, um, just to see him go out there and show that effort on that play, you know, shows a lot about his character, his, you know, his effort for trying to be a leader for this offense and his team. And uh, we definitely make a lot of key emphasis on a lot of effort plays here. So uh, that's our that's our mantra. Brian, when you were that little kid running around with that headband on, you're dreaming of big dreams and stuff. Uh, is this the kind of game you were dreaming of playing in? I mean, mm. prime time, intersectional match, you guys versus Texas Christian. I mean, what? How does this fit in that dream? I definitely fits a lot. Um, just having the opportunity to go play on, you know, Saturday night ESPN, you know, the dream come true. Uh, just playing in that Team of North game last year is a dream come true. Every game is a dream come true for me. Just, you know, being able to go out there and be a starter for you know, my, my dream school. So I take every game I get to my last. You seem to be very calm. Last question. Right? Anything that issues? Anything kind of gets you riled up? I like to think no. Uh, <laughs> probably the biggest thing is homework, uh, having to take my dogs out and pick their, you know, stuff up. But, uh, that's what that's what gets you That gets me pretty riled up. <laughs> but, uh, what kind of dogs? I got two Yorkies and a Doberman. Oh, oh, I was going to say, that's not very big until you said the Doberman. <laughs> <laughs> Doberman is about as big as Isaiah, so you can think about that one.